Raga kind of arrives out of nowhere, you might say. We start with just three notes.
that really appealed to me because they feel that they seem to just have this kind of blues thing going on in one form or another and ironically they were the ones that were played late at night which was kind of interesting so um, actually I'm going to do this in let's take a, just a second I'm going to change the tambour I've got to get this from my own. Um, most of the, the two pieces we played so far have a drone that has a strong fifth so it's one, five, one, one, one. But we're going to change to four now, and that's kind of interesting because you get a real ambiguity as to where the tone center really is. <laughs> So is the tone center, ah, or is it, ah, it's your guess. <laughs> but this is a very uh, appropriate raga for a number of reasons, because um, although, um, I mean, the name of this place is Full Moon, and uh, up there above the clouds, there is an almost full moon. And this is um, one of my favorite ragas, which I love to play under any circumstances, but particularly in the full moon. It's called Chandra Kons, and Chandra is the moon in India. And um, it's a late night raga, and um, tell me if it's got a bit of a blues vibe to it.
Okay, well, um, what's next? <laughs> one short piece, one tiny little thing, because I got a bit of small flute that was given to me by our friend Deputa, who um, just passed away last year. I had this wonderful opportunity in Calcutta to play for a memorial concert for this wonderful man who was um, in his 80s when he passed away, and he was really one of my real principal teachers, root teacher, and a dear friend of many of us in Cambridge in those days. So just a small piece. And this is really like the folk instrument that um, really is associated with Indian uh, folk music and uh, devotional music. Same flute, but just a different size. Yeah. Don's going to play the second set, but uh, is Kenny here? Kenny Lessel? 
Um, you know, Kenny and I have had a wonderful opportunity to play for many years with our dear friend Vidal Roy, who um, in many ways is the guy who um, kind of found a way of bringing tabla into the jazz world. Um, not coming from the classical side at all, but just groove like crazy. And you know, you know the story Miles Davis heard him playing in a restaurant and hired him. And, uh, and then uh, he and Kenny played with Ornette for years. So, so we've had a lot of, uh, Bala and I actually uh, kind of, when I came back from India, I was kind of all kind of tight, kind of remembering my Indian classical stuff, and Bala was kind of grooving on tabla. And, and we, um, we got this gig at a um, upscale Indian restaurant in New York called Raga Restaurant. And, and I dubbed that kind of work the Samosa Circuit. <laughs> so, and, and on the samosa circuit, we kind of learned how to um, take Indian mood, groove, and and treat it more with a jazz sensibility. And uh, along that time, um, Kenny and I started playing. So, why don't we just do a little duet or something? That'd be great. Yeah. See what we can do. No, it's a, it's a total, thank you. Thank you. Please give Marilyn a big hand. Yeah, she's such a wonderful yeah. girl. It's such a pleasure for you. Thank you, Stephen. Happy birthday to oh, Steve. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you.